everybody, Microchip here playing Farming Simulator 22, Elm Creek, and this is episode 38. Uh, behind me, we just got done putting all the big bags up here for the pigs. Uh, myself and Marsha right over there uh, worked as a team. We uh, took them off the uh, flatbed here and then loaded them into the warehouse here. Uh, before we go any further, I just want to do one thing. Now, the uh, reason I did that was because um, I decided that I was running out of space on my hard drive. So I went and bought a new hard drive, and they guess they, they sell these new M2 PCI hard drives. They're, like, ultra thin and small. I got a 2-terabyte one, and it was fun to install. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, I suppose, but it took me a while to install it. Then I had to move my entire Steam load from the C drive to the D drive, and then Farming Simulator wouldn't load. The save wouldn't load. I could start a new game, but the saves wouldn't load. I thought, I'm going to have to start over fresh again. Didn't want to do that. And finally narrowed it down to, I have to uh, completely uh, delete all the files in the shader cache. Why? I don't know. But I did, and when I did that, it rebuilt that cache, and now it works. But I don't want to bar bar uh, bore you on technical stuff. So I won't go into all of that. Okay, so we just got done unloading those things. Uh, the pigs now should be fully uh, full, right? Uh, yeah, everything's good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have myself. Oh, and I don't remember that either. Okay, I got to remember that. Uh, I'm looking at the uh, settings here. And, of course, the help window's not on, right? Why would it be? Nah. Nah. No, not save interval, wrong one. There we go, help window on. I wonder what else has changed. I hope not too much more. Shouldn't have. All right, so we're going to go over here. Now we're going to get the jitters here a little bit until it sorts things out. Because of the shader cache, I'm imagining, I don't know. I'm reading it as a, I don't know what it's doing. Don't, don't talk. To me. Okay, so we will, uh... Drop that. There we go. And then uh, we, well, I'll go over. Uh, for next thing we got to do uh, in the wild, wild scheme of things. Hold on, let me do this because I don't have my spreadsheet up right now. So I'm going to bring my spreadsheet up right now. That's right. We got to check the greenhouses and all that good stuff. So we have here the honey. That's, that's nothing. The uh, strawberry, or not strawberries, but tomatoes, right? Yeah. Tomatoes and lettuce have to be uh, loaded up. So we're going to stand right over here because who's in charge of that? Marsha, because she's driving the teletruck right now. So we'll have Marsha go over and get the tomatoes and the lettuce. Here we go. Over we go. Now those... They're M2 PCI Express drives. They don't require, require any cables. You have to hook it up to the power. It plugs directly into my motherboard. And the second... I saw what the first one was. That was It came with my computer when I bought it. Could not find the second slot. Looked and looked and looked. Could not do it. Finally, I was searching around on the internet on my wife's computer and finally found that it's hidden underneath a heat shield. <laughs> and then to get the tiny screws to go in there without falling over, forget it. Yeah, I, I said I wasn't going to do this, and here I am doing it. It was fun. All right, so we're going to put these tomatoes down right here. There we go. You can see we don't have a whole lot in the bank. We got 60 bucks. That's about it. I think we're, what, $25,000 in debt? I don't know. We'll check on that in just a little bit. As soon as Marsha goes out here and gets the lettuce. Hey, who's that good-looking guy over there? Okay. Go. this way 
and microchip is giving me hand signals. He wants me to put it in, let me, yep, in the warehouse. That's what that hand signal means. We'll move right over here. And throw it on the bottom shelf. Okay, dope. Now, I already checked the uh, greenhouses for water in episode 37. So we don't need to do that again, but we do need to uh, check the bakery, right? Yeah, so let's go to our businesses. Uh, the bakery's got some bread. Yeah, it's got 3,000 bread. And I think these are, what are those, 400? I think the cakes are 400. So there might be three of those as well. Wow. Everything else is in the green, so we're good. We don't have any money to buy anything anyway. Uh, so we are going to have, not myself, it's going to be Freddy. Of course, Freddy. Freddy is going to go and get the little, the little trailer. And he's going to take that down. Now, oh, the other question is, is, do they need strawberries down there? Uh, how many are, how many are on a pallet? We'll have Marsha check. Marsha, go check how many strawberries are on a pallet. The 500. Marsha, why can't you see? You got to be first person. There you are. Uh, 500 liters. Yeah, so we can put some of these strawberries and take them down there. Because the strawberries uh, could use what? It's not 2,000. They can use about 1,000, right? Yeah, about a thousand. That's going to be two pallets that she can put on there. So we can keep our strawberries up as high as they'll go. And I think that's the only thing we can supply that we actually grow here on the farm, right? Are the strawberries? I'm uh, pretty sure. Let's scoop up one of these strawberries. Tell the truth, I'm kind of surprised I remembered <laughs> to check. This is a whole strawberry thing. Oh, let's bring it up a little bit. I don't know. See, I'm caught, I'm caught, I'm caught. Bring it up. There we go. That's how it's showing in the first time. Bring that back around this way. Batch, natch. Uh, now let's see here. Are we going to have... Nah, it's only two. We're not going to have a pull inside the warehouse. Uh, go get the trailer there. Ready. Whoops. I'm adjusting my mic. Okay, we got it now. Pull this on back. Just like light. Hook her up. Bring her around. Now it's done, boys and girls. You want to be a professional farmer? Pay attention. If you're not doing it like this, then you're doing it wrong. strawberries on there. Or is honey? Can we bring honey down there? Oh! I almost tipped the trailer. Okay, that was a horrible placement because we gotta put a second... No, we, that's right. We put the second strawberry on the next trap. Okay. I don't have any honey anyway right now. So the point is moot, but now I'm gonna look just to see. Let's put this up above so we have more maneuvering room. There we go. You remember how to play this game. Now let's go. Over, over, and... Beautiful. Back it on out. There we go. I hope this is... Uh, oh, yeah. It is. It is what? It is recording. For a second, I thought I forgot to hit the record button, but I did not. I'd say I would have been talking to myself in a room all by myself, but uh, technically, even though this is being recorded, I am still kind of talking to myself right now, aren't I? There's nobody else here with me. Okay. So let's uh, check this now. There's nothing else, right? Milk. Oh, eggs. Eggs. Do we have any eggs? We do have eggs. What? Why? Why? Get out. Go check the eggs. You know, it's a good thing I look. What's with the eggs? The eggs. Oh, that's right. I got to do it first person. The eggs are 1,400. Is there enough room for eggs down there? 
Yeah. Yeah, we don't have any milk. We don't make sugar. We make flour, butter. So, yeah, they're going to need these eggs as well. Alrighty. Marsha, back in you go, sweetie. And we'll have you put that on just to the right of the two strawberry pallets. Saving some moolah by doing it this way. The eggs only cost me chicken feed. That's it. Chicken feed's dirt cheap. And the strawberries only cost me water, which is relatively cheap. I don't know if I want to call it dirt cheap. It costs a bit more. Okay, that was a bad move. There we go. A little overzealous. Oh, oh, and they didn't really get it on there real good either, did I? Got all kinds of problems. Alrighty. Oh. Okay, that was kind of a. Let's do this a little bit better this time. There we go. Kind of hard to drive from the side like this. Alright, now back to Freddy. He's going to leap out. That's not Freddy. There he is. There's Freddy. I called it before he showed up because I knew it was going to. There we go. And there we go. Now, Freddy's going to drive down to the bakery where he will drop off these strawberries and eggs and he'll pick up the bread and the cake. And the bakery's on the left. We bring it around. There we go. There's Fred Topeka. How's it going, Freddy? He's giving us a thumbs up, so it must be going good. Out you come. And now we're going to have to go to first person. And we are going to unstrap, unstrap, unstrap. Noise. Oh, we got to go to super person. And start loading these into the bakery. Right here, right? It's going up now. Do the same with these two pallets. I could have pulled around the corner here and made my trip shorter. But I got to load things up, too, so. Half dozen. How, how's that thing going? Uh, six of one, half dozen of another. Something like that. I don't know. All right. So those are being loaded in. Now let's uh, continue around this way. And let's pull out our pallets of cakes and various fresh breads. Uh, bread. Okay. We want... Uh, one pallet. What's this? Whose amount to put out? Two pallets. Three pallets. Oh, they, I, I got an update or something? Four pallets. <laughs> okay, there was an update to it, evidently, because I don't remember seeing that before. What? No. All right. We'll get this sooner or later. Here we go. Bread. Okay. I want one, two, three pallets. Okay. Then we'll go in here again. And it's going to say, okay, the bread. That's right now. The cake. Okay. And there's 400 on each. So because there's that many, I can get three pallets of that as well. Okay. Wow. Fred was busy this uh, month. I don't know what that 10 on the bottom meant. What did that mean on the bottom? I don't know. So we'll put... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, yeah, let, let's, uh, let's turn on the straps. It's easier. There we go. All right, it's easier to see where they're going to lie. There's one. Yeah, let's, put the, let's keep that cakes together. Easier later on. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. It almost fell. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. It's still going to fall. Get on there. What is your major malfunction? Okay, there we go. Oh, this is, a, this is, this is turning into a, a real pig's ear, as they say. Okay, there we go. 
Now let's uh, take it off super and let's restrap it here. Nice. Now we're going to put the bread on. Uh, no, we're not. We're not because I have enough to put up front. I was going to put the bread on and then the cake. So the cake was on the end first, but it's not going to make a difference because we only have three breads. Anywho, so put that right there and strap this down. Nice. And then we're going to come over here, put the bread rot. Yep. Yep. Take this bread, put it right. Yep. 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 There we go. And then over here. Okay, isn't it exciting? Watch me load this up. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why anybody watches this, and then I look at my numbers and I see that hardly anybody does. <laughs> but you know what? I watch I watch other YouTubers do this all the time. While I'm playing Farming Simulator, I love I love to watch other YouTubers do it too. So, <laughs> of course, you know what they're saying is this may not be the channel for you if you're not intrigued by any of this. And you're like, you got to be kidding me! What are you doing here? Go find some better way to spend your time. All right, so we got the bread, we got the cakes. We're going to drive them back up to the farm and stick them in the warehouse. And then we're going to check to see if we can sell anything, anything at all. Look at that sheep barn. All right, so uh, we're going to pull it in right here. Easy for us. Kind of, kind of a quick turn there, wasn't it? And then... Uh, it's offloaded back in here, so we're going to back it up a little bit so we can get it more to the right so Marsh has got more room. Okay, are we doing pretty good right there? I hate what does that. <laughs> pretty good right there? It looks like it. You could scooch just a little bit forward. Okay. Kill it. And then uh, do that. Take all the straps off. I'll come back here to Marsha. And let's have her back it up and around. Oh, look at that. We already have two pallets of bread. I was unaware of that. I think we had any bread or uh, cake in here. Alrighty. go cake number one it's actually cakes one through six isn't it spin off cakes one through six for strategic cake launch here we go and they go oh well yeah that's probably not real good for the cakes oh yeah okay there we go there we go. we'll discount these not check that the store who sells them will discount those we will not all right so there's one cake okay so i'm gonna get the other two cakes off here and the three breads and then i'll get back at you and here is the last pallet of bread cakes have all been offloaded and i also have the bread there we go. Okay. So here I am. Run back inside. And I am going to... First off, how, how much of a loan do we have right now? Where is it at? Oh, 35000 not not 25000 I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we should really think about putting up a sneeze guard here in front of these uh, breads. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we are going to check the books. And all we got to sell is grass. That's it. Just the grass has got to go. Uh, and that's going to be... Uh... Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to get off of here, aren't I? <laughs> okay, let me get off of here. Yeah, because it's... Uh, Freddie Fieldgold's got to take the... Uh bail trailer out that way and he can't do that while I'm standing on top all right he's gonna back this out 
I was hoping to get $83 a bale for the grass. And I called the animal dealer and uh, he said he was willing to pay 87. I didn't tell him 83. You never tell him your price. Say, you looking for some grass? They go, yeah. And you go, how much, uh, how much are you willing to part with or something like that? And they go, well, I, I could go as high as 87 to bail. And you go, so, because I was looking for 83, but you don't see the 83 part. Okay. Grab it right there and go get ourselves a bail trailer. Over here in the carport. There we go. Johnny Utah just standing there looking good. Hook that up. And let's head on over. Grass. Shit. Now, it doesn't look like there's any grass in there, but there is. It's hidden. Uh, plus, I have to line this up right now. Got to come around this way because it's going to appear on this side. Yeah, remember how this works? I do now. I do. Okay. That's not who this is. This is Freddy Field Goal, not me. There we go. What the? Okay, here we go. Give it to me. No, we want the square bales? No, 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 not those either. We want the small ones. No. Nope. And this the 500s. Oh, I bet you these updated too. That's why it's doing that. That's okay. We'll take them all. Uh, we'll take 14 bales. I should get them all out of there. Look at that, it did. All right, 14 bales, y'all. Oh, wait, I didn't turn the uh, trailer on uh, loading, did I? Or, or, or operating. It's the operating position. Uh, there we are. Well, let's leave the car on. What the heck? And then we're just going to come up here. We're going to sling some bales. There's the first one. Okay, so I will load these onto the trailer. And when they're all loaded up and... Uh, we're just, just outside the animal dealer. I'll get back to you. Sell some bales. See how much money we Alrighty. Evidently, it's been a minute since I played this. <laughs> because I found myself going to Johnson's Farmer's Market. That's not right. But now I've made the correct turn. And here we are at the animal dealer. Alrighty. Let's see how much money we make. There it is. $798. Isn't that nice? Okay. That, I believe, right? We've done everything now? I think we've done everything. Uh, is going to end up the uh, beginning of March here. Now we have to go into the middle part of March... And I'll see you back at the homestead so that we can do that. Okay, so this is the end of the beginning of March, if that makes sense. Uh, you can see there Johnny, Freddy, Marsha are all in line ready for uh, to start the next day. And uh, that's what, exactly what we're going to do now. So we're going to move into mid-March now. See you on that side. And here we are in mid-March. Our money's gone down to 427 due to various expenses. Uh, and now we are going to... Oh, there, of course, there in the upper right-hand corner... Or, scratch that. There in the upper left-hand corner is our goal, the spinnery. That's what we're looking to get next. Uh, and that'll be uh, $60,000. So, uh, there's no honey. Still no honey? Uh, almost honey. Come on, bees, let's go. Uh, and then we do have strawberries, and that's it. All righty. All we got to do is load up the strawberries, and then we will check the books. Mid-March will go quickly. Where is the... There it is. Teletruck's right back here. Let's jump in, reset the 
Uh, no, reset the trip meter. There we go. This thing's going to need maintenance in a little bit. It's still got some time, though. It's usually the time of the year when I don't sell a whole lot. And uh, the old warehouse gets fuller and fuller. And then all of a sudden, the prices come back up. They hit my minimums. And then we sell, sell, sell. All righty. Here we go. Bring the strawberries inside. There, down we go. Whoops. Won't let go now. Got the wrong angle, that's why. Nope. Now I may have stuck it on there. Nope. Look at that. I got it off. Okay. Very good. Pop on out. Look at that. It's still me, too. All right. Uh, so, again, now uh, that's all we had to do today, right? Is just the uh, greenhouses. Am I thinking right? Is everything in my brain correct? I think it is. Okay. So, let's check the books. And the old man says, nada, nothing's for sale today. He looked at those books very closely. I guess, I don't know. Something like that. So we'll go back over here. That is the middle of the end of mid-March. That was just really, really nice. Okay, let's end the day and go to the end of March. Sometimes I like to just come out here in behind Marla Hooch's house. You see her standing there? Yeah, she's a bird watcher. I'm a Marla Hooch watcher. She's nice. One of these days, I'm going to have to propose and steal her away from Fred Topeka. <laughs> That'll be the day. Here we are, end of March, and we are in the negatory. In the upper right-hand corner, you can see... We are negative $24. Yeah, that's not good. In the upper left-hand corner, you can see our current goal, the spinnery, for sixty grand. Here, all we have to do again is just... Uh, this time, we do have a honey. That's nice. We got a tomato and a lettuce. All right. Let's load these into the warehouse. As, the, as I said, this is usually when we start to build up our stocks here. That's exactly what's starting to happen. All right. So we got honey. We got tomatoes. We got lettuce. Honey. Tomatoes. And lettuce. There we go. Nice. Nice. All right. So again, we are going to check the books. Zip zero zero. That's what's going to be sold today. Absolutely nothing. And we're going to end now. March. And we're going to go into April. Now in April, we got some field work to do. We got to work on field 16, which is right up here next to the barn. Uh, we're going to be planting uh, sorghum there. And then we're also going to work field 47 where we're going to be planting soybeans. Oh, but in Runa for you. Oh, yeah. Spoiler alert. Let's go to the beginning of April. Beginning of April. Upper left-hand corner is our goal. The spinnery. And now we've got to work the fields because we all know the rule. Fields are always first. That means I'm going to come over here to the tractor, which I did not park. <gasps> it sat in the wrong spot last few days. That is some bad farming. Uh, so the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cultivate these two fields. 16 and then uh, 40. What did I say? 47. Yeah, 16 and 47. 
Uh, now, I checked already on the uh, map. Uh, here, I'll show you. Uh, what needs plowing? Field 16, which is right here, does not need to be plowed. Otherwise, it'd be red. And field 48 or 47, which is right here, does not need to be plowed either. 48, however, does, but we don't have to work on that until August, so we got time. Uh, but we're going to do field 16, and we're going to do field 48. That's nice. Little bit of field work. Haven't done this in a little bit. All winter long, as a matter of fact. Field 16 is right here. All right. Auto with it. And this is going to be 90, right? <laughs> it's either 0 or 90. I'm pretty sure it's 90. It is 90. Okay. Ah, close enough. I'm going to go with that. Looks lined up close. It's a little bit over to the right, but ah, who's count? All right. Uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Looks like all my things are still the same, but except I'm not doing it right. Uh. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? Lower the cultivator. There we go, buddy. All right. So we're going to cultivate, like I said, we're going to cultivate field 16 here. Then we'll do uh, uh, field 47 after that. And since we're cultivating two uh, fields, why not do a little musical montage? Get out of the way. Oh, sorry, sorry. that. 
So we got both field 16 and field 47 cultivated. Now we'll have to taste the dirt to see what they need next, but that's going to be it for this episode. Episode 38 has come to an end. You'll have to wait for episode 39 to see the exciting fertilizer sprayer in action. Won't that be fun? And uh, just to let you in on a secret, I really am thinking about asking Marla Hooch for her hand in wedding. Or in marriage, is that how you say it? I don't know how you say it, but I'm going to think I'm going to ask her to marry me. Yeah, so we may have a wedding episode coming up. Won't that be exciting? Now, if you're thinking to yourself, microchip, don't get married to big mistake. Well, this just may not be the channel for you.